Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is my first video back in front of the camera since coming back from the Fluid Art Boutique in uh, Sterling, Virginia, where I got to see so many great people and artists such as Mina and Kathleen, Karen, and Sarah. But not only that, I got to see all my friends that we see in the premieres and get to just chit chat on Facebook and things like that. We had such a great time. But this is my first video back recording. And I got to say, I feel a little out of my element. I haven't been in front of the camera doing this. So um, it, it, it's just weird. It's kind of, I feel very strange. But I'm going to make the best of it. We're going to do a great pour today. So today I'm going to do my part two in my capsule uh, series. And so I will be using those same colors that I used in the first one. I'll link that first video here. I'll also put that link down in the description box. So um, if you don't know what this is, what I'm doing is I'm doing three or four paintings using the exact same colors, but I'm doing different techniques. So the first technique I did was a split cup ring pour with these colors. Today I'm gonna do just a straight pour right out of the cup and my paints are thin. I'm hoping to get a lot of cells. I'm not using any metallics. So this is going to be a very interesting pour and the result I'm hoping is going to be great. So let's get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size that I'm going to use and then we'll talk about these colors. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so as you, I'm, I'm completely out of sorts. I haven't taped my canvas. I haven't put the push bins in yet, but what I'm working with is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. And so I will, uh, off camera, I'll get everything prepped and I'll go ahead and flood the canvas to save time on the video because the video is gonna be a little bit longer with having to wait for the cells to develop and the slow tilting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The uh, colors I'm using, and again, these are the same colors that I used in my last capsule video. So I'm using Prussian Blue from Amsterdam, Sky Blue Light from Amsterdam, Caput Mortem Violet, or Caput Mortem Violet, depending on how you want to say it. My country self, I say Caput, Caput, whatever. Um, Amsterdam and the Oxide Black. Amsterdam in the Azo Orange. Amsterdam in the Azo Yellow Medium. And my paints are mixed with two, one, uh, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and then I use a mixture of Floetrol water to thin them out so they make a very runny consistency. My base coat and my first layer of paint in my cup is going to be the Prussian Blue. And then I'll layer the colors on top of that. And then I'll put another layer of the Prussian blue on top. And then we will do a straight pour. Um, somebody asked me about my mat and why on earth I picked this horrible salmon color mat. Um, it is not a salmon color mat. I don't really understand why it makes a difference to people, but people feel like they wanted to comment about it. This is not a salmon color mat. This is a red mat but because i put plastic three mil plastic on my table to help protect and then i can scrape my uh, table the plastic makes it look salmon color so there's that all right so i am going to uh get the canvas prepped i'll flood it and then we'll layer out our cup all right i'll be right back all right so what i've got is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas so I am going to need 17 ounces of paint. I've got a 16 ounce beaker cup, but 16 ounces is right here at this little line here. So I've got this extra to play with. So what I would like to do is put some of the Prussian blue here in the bottom so that my paint has <clears throat> something to sink into. Now I am going to start off with some of the sky blue light, caput mortem, some black,
some of that orange. Yellow. I'm gonna try to put a little isolation here with the black. I wanna see, try to not get green because I'm mixing this blue. Now normally I would throw the blue all on top of this, but I didn't want to because I don't want the blue and the yellow to mix. All right, and for the interest of time, I went ahead and flooded my canvas. Let's pop it, make sure I've got all the air bubbles out. All right, we're gonna start right here in the center. All right. Now it's a waiting game. We're gonna let the cells pop up. Do you see a little bit of green happening there? This is the first time I've done a straight pour and did not use any metallics. Naturally, metallics will make cells. Also, the paint densities will help in creating cells as well. Kind of really enjoying what's happening though. There's a lot of the um, Prussian blue, but I do see some cells trying to pop up through that. So let's give this a torch. What I'm gonna do is I will time lapse this. I'll speed it up. So I'm not turning the camera off, but I'll fast forward to this so the cells will pop up and you don't have to sit here through that entire process. Got some really cool lines though happening. All right. So this has now been about five minutes. I went upstairs, fed the dogs, Came back, torched one last time. Now we're ready to start tilting out. Got some really nice lines. The cells are coming in. It's not a lot, but that's okay, that's cool. Um, I'll bring you in, I'll do a quick close up and then I'll start tilting. Let's begin. Now this paint is thin, so it is going to move a lot faster. You can already see now, I am gonna need some more Blow extender. All right, a 
let's go again. Wanted to try to bring some of this <clears throat> darkness off. So layering that yellow and black was a bad idea. If the paints were thicker, they would not have been quite as muddy. But because I was going for that cells and that straight pour thin consistency, that's where I ended up with. But I do love what's happening here. Got some great movement. I got great lines. I love that the sky blue is really um, giving me these arky type lines. It's just, it can, it's really nice. I don't mind this. <clears throat> it's just a little too, uh, too green here, muddy. I'm gonna re-pour this and I'm not going to use, well, I'm, go, I'm not gonna use black in the pour. I'm going to use black as the base. I'm not gonna, not gonna tilt this off. I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna re-pour another cup. All right, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the black in Let's put the Prussian blue in. Sky blue light. Cap it mortem. Yellow, 
Rather than scrape this, we're gonna pour right over top of it. Here we go. Fixed it. Let's give this a torch. So this is the first time I've tried a straight pour with no metallics, no iridescence. So Clearly things are not necessarily natural cell makers. I get little itty bitty ones here, but it's not a lot. All right, let's get to tilting. So I don't really care for this black spot here in the middle. So we'll see what it looks like once it gets started to tilt out.
definitely made this capsule collection a little hard on myself by choosing these colors. Um, but I do love a challenge. And I gotta say that I actually hated the black coming into this. But now I'm loving because I've stretched it. So now it has this through feel. And this sky blue light is giving such great lines and shadow effects. And up here in the corner, I like this a lot. Got a little green down here, but I'm okay with that. Things are starting to sell up a little bit though, so that's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape, torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. All right, here's the wet result. Check out the lines, check out this composition. I'm really digging this. I was not liking this at first, but the more I stretched it out, the more I get these bright lines, that uh, sky blue light really outlining everything, really cool. Um, I'm even loving that black, believe it or not. Let me bring you in here. We'll see how this dries. I've got a lot of paint tilted off. Hopefully I got enough so it doesn't crack. We shall see. I'll be right back. Here we go with the dried result. Came out beautiful. Check out the lines, check out the black and how it shoots through the greenish blue. Just gorgeous. Let me bring you in. Right, that's it for this piece thanks for watching thanks for tuning in for the video i really do appreciate everyone's support don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell that'll let you know when i do post new video content all right everyone i'll see you in the next video have a great day now bye bye